Hey everybody, welcome to another M365.video SharePoint short. This is David Warner. Today we're gonna to take a look at how we can create a two-tone theme for our SharePoint Modern Experience sites. We'll utilize the UI Fabric Theme Generator to configure our two-tone theme by selecting a primary and secondary color. For purposes of this demo, we'll go ahead and use the orange and purple combination that I use on my website. As you can see, we've got both hex values displayed here on our screen. We'll use the orange as the primary and the purple as the secondary. Let's see how we input these into the generator on the Microsoft UI Fabric site. We've loaded the browser with our theme generator for the Office UI Fabric. I'll include the link to this directly in the blog post as well. You can see that it started out by loading the primary theme color, just the default blue, a body text of dark gray, and a body background color of white. If we scroll down the page, we can see samples of how this particular palette looks with the default blue. We can see a teaching bubble pop up here so we can see the different spectrum colors that are applied. And we can see that the palette includes just a spectrum of the same tones for our fabric palette. But we want to create a two-tone theme. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to actually start by giving the primary theme color our secondary theme value. Now this may seem a little weird, why would we give the primary theme color our secondary theme value? Stay with me, it'll make sense in a moment. So we know that this secondary theme was going to be our purple. We'll go ahead and select the hex value and paste that value in, and we can see that the purple has been applied. Now if we scroll down to the samples, we can see that it is all purple, but we know for a fact that we want that to be our secondary color. So to apply our primary color of orange, we can actually interact with the full spectrum here in this fabric palette section. To do so, all we need to do is click on the individual token property where we would like to assign that primary color. We can see here that theme primary is one of those tokens, and if we hover over and click on the color, we can actually change it. So we'll go ahead and change this to our orange, we'll click off, and now we see that in all of our samples, we're seeing the orange as the primary. And so we would expect to see purple as the secondary color for our various form elements. If we hover over our checkbox here, our slider, we can see that purple is being enabled uh, on the hover state. It's the same thing on the radio button on the outline. If we go ahead and click on our teaching bubble and hover over the buttons, we can see our secondary color is showing up as a hover state. Very cool feature and super easy to implement. It's just a little backwards how we started. We input the secondary color first and then change the primary to be the actual primary we wanted. Now what's cool is you can actually modify all of these. If you wanted to have a different value for all of your primary, secondary, and tertiary values, three separate colors, you could actually do that by clicking on each individual color, changing it, and then scrolling down to the samples to see the effect that actually takes place by doing so. Once you've used this simple strategy to define your modern theme palette, all you would need to do is access the palette properties. You could use code, JSON, or PowerShell, typically for creating a new uh, SharePoint theme, PowerShell is the most common, and you just simply copy and paste the properties here and apply them to your SharePoint tenant. For instructions on how to create your modern themes within your SharePoint tenant, please see some of my other videos on modern theming. Thanks for watching this quick tutorial on how to create a two-tone theme for your SharePoint Modern Experience sites. Here are some useful links I discussed in the video, as well as a link to a blog by Laura, which covers an awesome amount of information regarding some of the finer details for modern themes. I highly encourage you check out her blog. All these links will be included in my blog post for easy reference. I'd also recommend taking a look at the SharePoint Patterns and Practices sample Theme Manager web part, which empowers your site owners and content authors to create, update, delete, and apply modern themes using a simple user interface. No programming by them is required. You can see the link here on the screen, or you can also find it in the blog post. Thanks again for watching, and be sure to subscribe in YouTube to get alerts for all my future videos.